Hi, in this video I'll show you how to use images for your slicers. So slicers are another way to filter your table or your pivot table. For example, I've got this pivot table here. Let me unfilter this particular slicer. This is the state slicer. And these are the uh, top five popular names in 2016 for, for babies in the US. You can see uh, they are mixed from gender, female and male. And this is all for uh, just female. Let me unfilter this. And you'll notice that if I, let's just choose Alabama, and we'll see all the male and female names here. But if I wanted to filter by this particular symbol or picture, this is for the uh, symbol for female. We see our, our top five for female. And for male, we see our top five here for the male. It technically isn't really a really great image like a JPEG image or a PNG image but it's a symbol when you think about it it's a and and I'll show you how to enter it and it's defined as a symbol and basically these are the Unicode symbols that are available as part as of your fonts so I'll show you how to create that now one thing to note if we really wanted to put uh, pictures in your slicers that's available in Microsoft's Power BI Power View tool. And that's a little bit more complicated to use. But using that particular tool with a, an, an add-on slicer capability, you can do that. But that's something a little bit more detailed. And this kind of just gives you a entryway into like just using symbols instead of words. How does that done? Let's go into another sheet here. Let's say for example, I copy that same table of uh, baby names. And I wanted to do a symbol here. And if I wanted to do the symbol for male, female, all I need to do is go under the insert tab. And right over here, we have in our symbols group, we have a symbol command. If I click on that, you'll notice that it gives us our symbol window and the fonts that are uh, able to choose from. Now the fonts are the fonts that are probably come with your version of Excel. You can see we have our, our standard fonts like uh, Arial, uh, and the ones that would give you a symbol could be the Wingdings font, font or uh, Aerocode Unicode. So Aerocode Unicode has, in addition to these interesting uh, fonts, also does have some symbols. If I scroll down, you'll see that there are some interesting symbols here. These are languages. But if I go down to the bottom here, you can see that I have some of these kind of interesting symbols, arrows, uh, some kind of, uh, this, this is an increment. We have other kind of things that we can put in there. Now, in our case, we wanted to see the gender symbols. And I believe that is down here under miscellaneous symbols. Now, under miscellaneous symbols, we have our gender symbols here. Let me see here. We have the female symbol. I'm going to go ahead and insert that. And we also have a male symbol. Let me insert that. All right? C click close. And now we have both of these in here. I'm going to move these over. Control. X to cut, control V to paste. And I'm just going to take this particular symbol, control X to cut and put it here because these are all the female names here. And let me uh, double click the fill handle and it'll copy all that down. Now I'm going to take this symbol for the male, control X to cut and find the, the beginning of the male names. I believe it's probably right after the Alaska right here. This is the beginning of it. So I'm going to put it here and then I'm going to copy it down. Control V to copy that male symbol, down, uh, put it in that cell and double click the fill handle here. You'll copy it all the way down. So I've got all the symbols down there, right? So now here, what I can do is I'm just going to create my pivot table. Select anywhere in here, go to insert pivot table and I'm going to put it onto a, I'll just put on this existing worksheet right here. Click OK. I'll put my name here. I'll put a count here. I'll put the first count here. And I'm going to just do the same thing I did earlier. I'm going to right click here and add this as a slicer. So you can see we have our states here. And then I'm going to, whoops, let me go back into click into the pivot table here. I'm going to right click symbol one and add that as a slicer. And now you'll notice that my symbols show up, right? So I have my symbol for my females. And my males, you can see that that shows up. If I click on maybe like a small state, like a, a smaller state, maybe like Delaware, and click on female and, oops, well, female and male, you can see that there's differentiation there. So there's a way that we can put an image 
in this case, it's going to be a symbol, basically uh, keyboard characters, Unicode or UTF characters in our slicers instead of just having text, make it make it a little bit more uh, visually appealing. So I hope that helps. Thanks for watching.